हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू डॉक्टर वेट चैनल डॉक्टर पी आर पटेल प्रोफेसर हेड वेटनरी मेडिसिन टू डिलीवर द लेक्चर ऑन दिस इम्पॉर्टेंट पैरासाइटिक डिजीज वर्मिनस ब्रोंकाइटिस द वर्ल्ड वर्मिनस मीन्स इट इज कॉल्ड बाय वम्स देर आर मैनी वम्स एंड दिस वम्स make their residence make their house site of predilection is bronchi and causes inflammation of the bronchi bronchitis verminous bronchitis in part 1 we will study synonyms definition etiology and the life cycle of various parasites causing verminous bronchitis this is a endoparasitic disease of domestic animals i already told you that bronchitis bronchitis caused by various worms verminous bronchitis there are several synonyms parasitic bronchitis caused by parasites verminous pneumonia several worms causing pneumonia also verminous pneumonia lungworm infestation infestation by various parasites and the parasites remain in lung so lungworm there are two other names they are the local names in different countries husk and hose these are also popular name in their countries verminous bronchitis is an infection of lower respiratory tract trachea bronchi bronchiole and lungs mostly bronchi and bronchio it is caused by several parasites of nematode group name of these parasites we study is the etiology usually these parasites causing bronchitis and pneumonia so the famous name verminous bronchitis verminous pneumonia lungworm of pneumonia like that the common hosts are cattle sheep goat pig horse and llama these are the common the disease is manifested mainly by nasal discharge dyspnea and coughing etiology of verminous bronchitis there are many lungworms of nematode group they affect the domestic animal the name of this nematodes are dictyocallus filaria affect sheep goat and llama the parasite located in bronchi another parasite dictyocallus viparis cause infection in cattle llamas location is same bronchi dictyocallus anfieldi in donkey and horse location bronchi metastrongylus operi is also called as metastrongylus elongates it affects pigs and wild pigs so this causes metastrongylus causes infection in pigs on location is bronchi and bronchio there are many other lungworm also 
they cause the infection but their occurrence is very less so it is not mentioned here otherwise there is big list we have two parasite two groups dictocallus and metastrongyl we will see the life cycle of this dictocallus and metastrongyl first we will see the life cycle of dictocallus worm this dictocallus worm have a direct life cycle that means no intermediate host direct the adult female worm lay eggs in the airways of the infected host airways means respiratory tract the eggs are transported to the pharynx within the respiratory secretion from pharynx the eggs are cuffed out into the mouth now eggs are in the mouth from airways it comes to pharynx then x comes to mouth the eggs are mostly swallowed or directly goes to outside by spitting but generally animal don't spit the eggs are swallowed the swallowed eggs release l1 larva in the gut and which are said in the feces so l1 larva comes out of the animal in feces continuation of life cycle the l1 larva comes out from the animal and develop into infective l3 larva in dung now the uh, now this larva is in the feces and it takes about a week this infective larva are susceptible to dryness this livestock become infected mainly while grazing this larva is present in the duck the pasture contain the larva so grazing or they get the infection indoor through contaminated hay or bedding the ingested larva penetrate the gut wall of the host they pass via the lymph vessels and they reach the mesenteric lymph node where they molt to l4 larva through the lymph of the thoracic duct and jugular vein the larva reach to the heart and from the heart it reach to the lung now they are coming to the destination they are stopped in the lung capillaries from capillaries they reach to the bronchiole bronchi or trachea the lower respiratory tract and there is complete development to adult worms so in the lungs lower respiratory tract they develop into the adult worms the pre patent period last for about 4 to 5 weeks the pre patent period is a time between the infection and first larva seed in the feces now we see the life cycle of metastrongylus apri the eggs passed in the feces of the pig the larva is in the stayed intermediate host earthworm it require intermediate host earthworm remember this thing larva develop in blood vessels of the wall of the esophagus of earthworm they perform two molts in the earthworm and become infective larva in the earthworm 
Now, how pig get the infection? The pig become infected by ingestion of infected earthworm important. Pig get infection by ingestion of the infected earthworm. And there is further development of this parasite in pig is similar to Dictyocallus filaria. We have already seen the same life cycle. This is only the difference. Friends requested to send this information or share information to veterinarians, veterinary friends and students. Requested to subscribe the channel to grow the channel very fast. Thank you very much for observing this video.